children. children. Welcome to Harvest Kids. My name is Teacher Barbara. And my name is Teacher Daniela. Welcome to another lesson. Who call your friends, your neighbors, your aunties, your uncles? Woo! And, and your grandparents. Do you have uncles? Yes. Well, me, I have. So I'm calling them up to come and enjoy Harvest Kids. I'm giving you five minutes. So, five, four, four, three, two, one, zero. You have called them? Wow. <laughs> let's get into it. Yeah. So before we get into it, let's humble ourselves and we pray. <laughs> Heavenly Father, we thank you for today. We thank you that today is going to be powerful. We ask for retention in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So, today is wonderful. Today is powerful. Not so, Teacher Barbara. It is awesome. It is amazing. But before we get into the word, we are going for some praise and worship.
from Praise and Worship. I hope you had a lot of fun praising the Lord. My name is Teacher Daniela and I'm going to be your teacher today. So today's memory verse is such a powerful one. We are going to be learning from the book of 2 Kings chapter 5 verse 14. 2 Kings chapter 5 verse 14. Yay! So it says, so he went down and dipped seven times in the Jordan, according to the saying of the man of God. And his flesh was restored like the flesh of a little child, and he was clean. Have you ever seen the flesh of a little child? You look at your skin. Isn't it smooth? So, today we're going to learn about a man named Naaman. Naaman was a very strong warrior. He was a very strong warrior in the Syrian army. And Naaman had a disease that was troubling him. It was called leprosy. It was so, so bad that Naaman had to cover himself up. But then, one of his servant maidens discovered and told his wife that there is a prophet that could heal him, but that prophet was in Israel. So Naaman set out to go and find this prophet. And when he reached and told the prophet, I am sick, I am covered in illness. A prophet told him, do you know what you're going to do? Go to the river Jordan, wash yourself and dip yourself seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven times to get clean. Naaman trekked again, he trekked again. He reached the river Jordan, washed himself seven times and he was smooth. Naaman was able to be healed because he followed instructions. So, as little children, as children of God, what are we going to do? We are going to follow instruction so that we can receive our healing from God. Because if we don't follow, we will just be there. Sometimes we are sick and we don't know what to do. But God tells us to pray to him and we are able to receive healing. So when you go back home today and you have a relative or a mother or an auntie who is sick, pray for them and God is going to bring healing. There is also something important that I need to tell you. It is the love of Jesus Christ. How do we access this love? By praying to him. If you would like to receive the love of Jesus, you're going to humble yourself and say this mighty prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, we thank you for today. I ask you, Jesus, to come into my heart and be my personal Lord and Savior. I receive you today. Thank you for loving me. Amen. You are now in the family of Jesus Christ. Yay! So, if you would like to get to know more about Jesus, to see how to walk in this family, just look up the number on the screen, write it down on a paper, and then call. At the end of that number, there is a pastor who can pray with you, who can talk to you, who can sing with you and play with you, and we will have so much fun. Catch you next time. Bye!